Piaget's theory of child development is perhaps the best known human developmental stage model and was developed by Jean Piaget, whose ideas became popular in the 1960s. He described four sequential stages of cognitive development from birth to adulthood. Piaget's cognitive theory consists of three building blocks, namely A, schemas or building blocks of knowledge, B, adaptation, processes of e equilibrium, assimilation and accommodation that enables the transition from one stage to another, and C, distinction of four steps of development. The developmental stages include sensory seromotor and zero to two years of age, uh, pre-operational, two to seven, concrete operational, seven to 11, and formal operational, 11 years plus. Um, today, the stages remain useful, especially to understand the cognitive development of children, but it's also attracted criticism, as we discussed earlier in the seminar. So let's look at the sensor, sensor motor stage. Piaget suggested the first stage of human development, sensor motor stage, begins at birth and lasts at two years of age. So what does that consist of? Well, when a baby is born, he or she starts to develop both physically and cognitively. Physical abilities include crawling, grasping, and pulling. And as babies develop cognitive skills, they also start to think about their behaviors and react to different stimuli, such as noises, movement, and emotions. Now then, these aspects are what define the sensory motor stage, which can be further subdivided into six types, uh, namely simple reflexes, primary, secondary, and tertiary circular reactions, coordination reactions, and early representational thought. So sensory motor stage, can think of a reflex is an involuntary reaction that happens automatically without thinking and is prevalent for the first six weeks of life. Primary circular reactions occur around about one to four months of age when they realize that they have the ability to repeat a movement such as um, placing their thumb in their mouth and secondary circular reactions happen between four and eight months and the child learns to intentionally repeat an action to get a response in the environment. So coordination of reactions, which includes clearly intentional actions, exploring their immediate surroundings, imitating the observed behavior of others, and recognizing the qualities of objects take place between eight and 12 months. Tertiary circular reactions involve trial and error, experimentation, expressly trying out different sounds or actions as a way of getting attention from the caregiver at around 12 to 18 months of age. In the final sensor motor substage, early representational thought, children become aware of mental operations and begin to develop symbols to represent events or of objects in the world. So the second stage, the pre-operational stage of child development, the pre-operational stage lasts from two years um, of age to around about seven. And during this period, children start to talk and begin to engage in symbolic play during which they learn to manipulate symbols. Um, Piaget argued that they do not understand concrete logic, they cannot mentally manipulate information, and they're unable to take the point of view of other people, which he termed egocentrism. They're used to pretending in play activities by using the objects to represent something else and assuming others' roles. The pre stage uh, play activities by using objects to represent something else and assuming others' roles. Um, during this time, few children show an understanding of conservation or the ability to determine that a certain quantity will remain the same despite adjustment to container or the apparent size. Uh, so you've sort of seen um, the experiments, for example, where children were showed um, the ability to identify quantity. Um, so you, you've got different um, shapes, um, container, for example. So one, one container might be, um, you know, so big and one might be twice as big, but the same volume uh, of water is poured in. And um, 
and 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 the the, the children um, can't really determine um, that the quantity is the same, uh, irrespective of the size of the uh, container. So you can have a look at that, and it's sort of stuff on YouTube that's sort of out there. That's, that's quite interesting. What that's concerned, um, the concrete operational stage Piaget called the third development stage. The concrete operational stage which spans from seven to twelve years of age. The main characteristics of the concrete operational stage are best understanding of mental operations, that is thinking logically about concrete events and awareness that actions can be reversed. Um, however, they still have difficulty understanding abstract or hypothetical concepts. At this time, their understanding of uh, conservation develops and marked eager centrodium starts to disappear. In the formal operational stage, Piaget's final stage of child development happens in adolescence from 12 years of age onwards. During this fourth period of cognitive development, abstract thought and hypothetical reasoning skills emerge. Children use logic to come up with creative solutions to problems and apply systemic planning in the process. Deductive reasoning occurs, uh, requires, deductive reasoning requires the ability to use a general principle to determine a particular outcome. While the capacity to think about abstract concepts means considering possible outcomes, and consequences of actions rather than solely relying on previous experiences. Also, instead of depending on trial and error to solve problems, teens are able to plan and organize and systemic approach achieve uh, the same. So the basic criticisms, guys, of the uh, Piaget's theory, uh, more recent post-formal development models criticize the fact that Piaget's model does not cover adult cognitive development. Um, the other criticisms around Piaget's model assumes uh, that thinking changes, um, halts in adolescence and early child, ad early adulthood. Um, until recently, even has been even believed that adulthood brings a long and steady decline of cognitive capability. This is just illogical and definitely not correct, but has shaped education and leadership development processes of adults for many, many years and many decades. Other criticisms are, it's unclear uh, the association between cognitive and intellectual abilities. Piaget's theories largely overlooks the efforts of cultural, social, and other contextual uh, influences. The identification of distinct stages is oversimplified and assumes the same level of cognitive operations in all areas of functioning at any individual time. Um, it also diminishes the impact of ego development and other psychological phenomena on cognitive processes and issues that cause a failure to, to adequately account for dysfunctional behavior and psychological disturbances. Generally, no explanation is provided for quality of difference in cognitive capacity between two persons of the same age. Um, so other criticisms are, Piaget also assumed that individuals will automatically transcend to the next stage as they age with the meaning of age generally defining development, developmental and social status. Um, so this is a fundamental flaw, especially when considering adult cognitive development. Contrary to earlier beliefs, children are not alike little adults um, without incremental differences in physical ability, skills and uh, intelligence. Their cognitive structures and thinking patterns are vastly different. Uh, thus, as a first step, several researchers expanded um, Piaget's model to cover the whole lifespan, which uh, including the various adult stages of development, uh, which is outside the scope of, of this lecture this evening. Um, although Piaget's model remains really useful, as we've talked about uh, in our lecture, um, to explain cognitive stages in child development, especially as he applied the concept of schema to understanding of development of learning in children. So Piaget's models define um, schema as the child's mental representation of associated set of perceptions, ideas, behavior that form the basic building block of thinking. With the development of cognitive abilities, new schemata are constructed while existing schemata are more efficiently organized to better adapt to the environment. Piaget also noted, by the way, that an individual has a tendency to interpret uh, new events uh, about existing schemata rather than adapting or forming new ones. Therefore, the model describes how a child's views and beliefs about him or herself and others in the world builds over time until it becomes relatively fixed in late adolescence and plays a determining role in people's 
uh, emotions, thoughts, and behaviors.